Welcome to the Bahrain International Circuit. Any moment now, our drivers will take to the track and the Bahrain Grand Prix will begin. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit, with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Perez, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel, and Norris, Leclerc, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, and Carlos Sainz, Gasly, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, and Raikkonen, Russell, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. The virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. We've been informed that due to the increasing risks, they're moving from a virtual to a full safety car. Let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates,
100 laps of fuel remaining. Final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, clear. Two laps of fuel left. Pick up rubber and bring it home. Smiling faces on the pit wall after a superb win here at Sakia. And rightly so. What a brilliant effort from the whole team. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.